Hey everybody, today's video is going to be fun. We are moving out of the dreary winter into spring and I have a great list of books planned to read in April. So hi, my name is Talia. I love books. I love bandanas. I'm so glad you're at my channel today. Um, I really am excited for this video. Um, first I'm excited because I'm filming it like March 22nd. I have my act together right now. Um, that rarely ever happens these days. So who knows how long it will last. But for now, I have my act together. I have my books planned to read for April. Um, hopefully they won't change too much between here and there. But um, yeah, let's jump right into it and talk about what I'm going to be reading. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna be talking about the books I definitely will be reading because they are part of book club or group reads. So, and both of these books I don't have yet. I'm still waiting on hold at the library. Um, but as I said, it's early, there's plenty of time. Um, so I'm just waiting to get my hands on these to have them ready um, by April 1st. So the first one is um, All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham. And that is my in real life book club pick. Um, it was released pretty recently, I think in December of 2022. So it's a pretty new release. Um, and it's about a woman who loses her child and is looking for them. And that's about all I know. It's supposed to be a mystery slash thriller, um, supposed to be pretty intense. Um, a book as a mom of young kids, reading a book about missing children or having your child taken from you is not something I would usually pick, but it's a book club pick and I'm gonna read it. Um, so we will see how that one goes. Um, my other pick um, that is from um, the book club on um, Nicole at Dusty Book Sniffers um, channel, which you guys should totally check out that book club if you um, don't already. It's so cool. Um, there's a whole bunch of us. She puts our names um, on this wheel with our names and genre um, that we want to read and then she spins it every month and then someone gets to pick the book. Um, so the book pick for this month is The Silent Patient by Alex Me. Michaelitis? Michaelitis, I believe. Alex Michaelitis. Um, and this is about a woman who is living a somewhat normal life and then she kills her husband. And then after she kills her husband, she never talks again anymore. She's just done. So um, it is, I think it's told from the point of view of like her therapist who's trying to get her to talk and trying to figure out what happened and why she killed her husband. So this one's been around um, a while. I remember hearing about it at least a year ago. Like I think it was out before I even started my channel. So um, yeah, I I've had it on my radar for a while. So now I am going to be reading it. So we'll see how that one goes. So those are the books I'm gonna be reading for sure this month for group reads. Um, there's one event in April that I'm going to be participating in and it is Agatha in April. And this is being hosted by MJ at Reading This Life. And she has never read any Agatha Christie. And I have only read two Agatha Christie books, both of which I read since I started my channel. Um, so booktube influenced for sure. Um, but she um, decided that she was gonna have a readathon this April. And it's just one weekend. I think it's April 14th, 15th, 16th ish um I'll put a link her to her announcement video below um so that you can join in if you want to um but we're gonna be reading Agatha during that weekend and I'm not sure if there's going to be a specific group read if there is I probably will I probably will join into that um unless it's one that I just recently read so I've read um and then there were none and I've read Murder on the Orient Express. So I probably won't reread those if that's the group read that she picks. But um, I have some other Agathas that I will read instead if that's it. Or if she picks another group read, then I will get whatever book is gonna be the group read and read that. So the Agatha is kind of up in the air, but I wanna show you what I have. So I have, so I have Agatha Christie, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd um, on my shelves. And I also have this gem. Um, look at this book. And it's like an older, like has the old book smell. I got this at a thrift shop like quite a while ago, but, um, and I haven't read any of it yet. So it has five complete novels. It's called Murders Abroad, um, Murderers Abroad. And, um, they came to Baghdad, Murder in Mesopotamia, The Mystery of the Blue Train, Passenger to Frankfurt, 
and so many steps to death. So this has five books to choose from. Um, so I'm really excited to crack this one open as well. So I won't be reading all of this, Agatha. I'll either be reading one of these stories or another one, just depending on what the plans are um, for that rethon and the group read. So Agatha will be included in April as well. Um, for my nonfiction this month, this was supposed to be my nonfiction for February and I did not get to it. So I'm really going to read Tantiki this month. Um, this is about a, I don't know what year it takes place. Oh, 1947. It's about um, these men that sail 4,300 miles across the Pacific Ocean on a raft and have um, all sorts of crazy adventures. Um, it's supposed to be really good. This is highly recommended by um, many a nonfiction lover. So um that will be on my list as well. Okay, Richard Osman, The Man Who Died Twice. This is the second book um, in the Thursday Murder Club mystery um, trilogy. And I think it's a trilogy. I don't know if he's going to write more. There's three books out now. Um, so this is about a group of elderly um, individuals who live in like this super posh retirement community and spend their time trying to solve unsolved murders. Um, this is a continuation of the... Um, first book I've heard that it picks up pretty much where the first book left off left off so um yeah I'm pretty excited to see where this one goes I really liked the first book is just called the Thursday Murder Club and I really um I really enjoyed that one so excited to continue this series um and also I'm going to read Wayward by Amelia Hart this was my um book of the month pick for March and I am um, going to read it instead of just putting it on my shelf and having it look pretty. Um, this is the first book I bought for myself this year, actually. I spent some of my workout, um, my workout points um, was used for this one. So um, I'm super excited to um, read it. This covers, it has like three main characters in different time frames. So 2019, we have Kate, who's like living in this um, kind of dilapidated cottage that she inherited and she kind of starts discovering secrets about her aunt who lived there um 1619 is the other timeline it says alpha is awaiting trial for the murder of a local farmer who was stampeded to death um and she was taught magic when she was a girl so she is being blamed i believe for somehow causing the stampede that stampede that killed this farmer and then our third character is Violet, and she is in 1942, so right in the middle, middle of World War II, and she um, is in this crumbling estate. She wants to be educated, but she is not able to be, and um, she is looking for her long-lost mother, and she has a locket bearing the initial W um, with the word wayward and the word wayward scratched across her bedroom baseboard so yeah I love books that have like different characters that kind of weave together throughout history I love kind of trying to guess how they're going to entangle and how um their stories are all going to come together so um super excited for this it is um it was marketed as magical realism from book of the month and that is a genre I've been super interested in lately like where you have like the magic but not a crazy amount of magic just kind of magic like woven throughout so um I'm excited for that as well so that's the plan I have right now for April again it's still the end of March I'm working on my um finishing up my middle grade books um if I'm in the middle of any of those they might kind of carry over into April a little bit but um I'm feeling pretty good about this plan so Happy spring to you. I'm so glad that winter is almost over. Um, although spring in the Pacific Northwest is still a lot of rain, but at least it's not like 37 degrees in rain anymore. You know, like I'm done with that. So yeah, um, I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I hope you take some time today to read a good book or two. And if you're having a bad hair day, just wear a bandana. Bye.